I already gave you guys my list of what you don't need on your baby registry, but let's talk about some things that you actually do need. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm so sorry that I didn't get out a video last Thursday, but here we are, we're back. We're back in the swing of things, so let's get started. So I got my little list right here and I just wanted to tell you some things that I found useful. Maybe you didn't find them useful. If you didn't, it's fine. We can have different opinions and it's totally okay. The first thing on my list is a bedside bassinet. I watched so many videos and I'm not gonna lie, for my first baby i did not use a bedside bassinet but i watched so many videos on different bassinets and i even did have the infamous halo bassinet handed down from a family member i hated it i didn't use it at all what i did use was this bassinet that is off of amazon and it's cheaper now what i love about this bassinet is that you can fold down the sides so you kind of have easier access to your baby when reaching over to get them when they're a newborn and such I would say that CJ lasted until like four months because at five months that's when he was like kind of pushing up and everything like it just wasn't safe anymore but I loved that option it was adjustable for the height and it was just really great to have right next to my bed because the feet kind of slid underneath the bed super convenient I don't think you need a halo bassinet especially just I don't know I didn't I know it kind of slants so you can reach in a little better but I never used it it was more of a pain in the butt so definitely look at a bedside sleeper bassinet the next thing on my list is really huge and I feel very strongly about this because where have I been until now but it is a sprayable diaper rash cream it is a game changer now don't get me wrong I am a firm believer in using A and D and I think it's Bordeaux Bordeaux's butt paste those work amazing however if I forget if it's called Boogie, if that's the, the name brand, and then there's the Honest Company that also makes a sprayable one, it is so much easier to just spray it along that diaper rash or wherever it's red and then call it a day and put their diaper on instead of having to put it on your finger and then wipe it all over and then go wash your hands and everything. One less step in the diaper changing process is just great for me. I don't think I can ever go back. The next thing that actually surprised me that I used a lot was a giant playpen. Now these apparently used to be popular, my aunt was telling me. They are literally, I don't know the exact dimensions, but they're just giant playpens that go on the ground and you just use it as you would like a normal pack and play. The difference is it's not a pack and play, it is just a play area. And I think that was just really great for me, especially because we had hardwood floors and I just wanted a safe place that I could put my baby that wasn't necessarily the bassinet, especially when he was turning over onto his belly and he wanted to look at stuff and everything. I could sit in there with him and even his big brothers wanted to sit in there at times and it was really sweet. So I really, really liked the big bassinet and I think it's something you should absolutely look into. Obviously this is something that should most likely stay in the home. It, it's a lot to pack up if you have to bring it somewhere. And if you want to use the smaller pack and place, then obviously take them with you if you're going to like a relative's house. But if you're at home, definitely invest in a big playpen. The next thing on my list, it should be obvious, but get yourself diapers and wipes in bulk. So if you have a Sam's Club or a Costco membership, I cannot tell you how great it is to have diapers and wipes that last you more than two to three weeks. I love buying the Kirkland brand. I know sometimes we're restricted, sometimes our babies are really sensitive, so we have to get like the the like super clear and clean stuff and I'm not judging at all, but if you can, if your baby is not sensitive, please try to buy in bulk because it is such a good investment it lasts me forever a good box of diapers and I just I can never go back to anything else when I do pick up stuff occasionally at Target or Meyer, it is gone in like two weeks the next thing on my list is a formula dispenser this is for those of you that are formula feeding so not necessarily breastfeeding but I had this formula dispenser that had like three columns and I would pre-fill them up and then take it with me if we ever went out anywhere. Super convenient, something small that you could just put in your diaper bag. I loved it because there were times where I did take the whole tub of formula and 
sometimes the lid wasn't secure and it would open and or sometimes I would worry about it opening and it just was not worth the stress and it wasn't worth the room it was taking up in my diaper bag so please if you are formula feeding look into getting a formula dispenser the next thing on my list I feel like everyone should have and that is a diaper bag get yourself a good quality diaper bag do your research on diaper bags because in my opinion a diaper bag it's not just like oh let me grab the first one that I see I think that one you need to make sure that it's functional. Two, you need to make sure that it's accommodating everything that you need for the size of your family, AKA if you have more than one child, you're gonna need extra pockets, extra room, maybe a bigger bag, maybe you want a smaller bag, maybe you don't need all that space. These are things that you need to take into consideration because it's really important that your diaper bag suits you and your family. I also think it's important to research because there's a lot of good brands out there. Petunia Pickle Bottom, Itsy Ritzy, Luli Baby. There's a ton of brands that make different stuff and you just kind of have to find what works best for you. What design do you like? Maybe you like a certain style of bag. Petunia Pickle Bottom is really good for accommodating different styles. So definitely look into that and just figure out what you like. Watch reviews, watch my reviews, watch my friend Priscilla's reviews. You know, there's a ton of people out there that are reviewing bags. The internet's a great resource, use it. The next thing that I think you need is a stroller. And when I say a stroller, find a stroller that is good for you. This goes with the diaper bag, but make sure that accommodates your family. Now, there are some strollers that are upwards of 700 to $1,000. I'm looking at you, up a baby and baby jogger and juvie. <laughs> These strollers can get super pricey, so I don't blame you if you wanna spend money on that, but make sure it does everything you want. Does the shade, the canopy, does it come down all the way so if your baby needs to nap? Are you at Disney and you need that? Does it have, does it completely recline all the way flat so that your baby can sleep? Does it have a car seat adapter to it? Does it seat more than one child? How big is the underside compartment? You know, the basket of the stroller. Is there a basket of the stroller? These are all things that you need to look at. Or are you looking for something compact, something that Okay, we only got the one, we just need to get it and go. And the last thing on my list is something that I think I ran into a lot of times myself is to not have too many bottles. I feel like we get into all these packs of bottles and I, I different brands and everything, when all reality, you really just need two to three good bottles and you're set. Me and my husband would find that we would be making bottles and then not washing them directly after and so we'd get the new bottle and then like the dishes would just start piling up so definitely two to three bottles maybe four max i think the more bottles that you buy the more dishwashing you're going to be doing overall that is all that i have for you guys thank you so much for sitting with me on this video i really appreciate it if you don't already make sure that you follow my tiktok as well as my instagram it will be listed in the description below let me know what you liked about this video what you didn't like about this video I really appreciate your time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.